Okay, in this video I just wanted to talk about the latest MFT rumours and you'll have to bear with me a bit because my throat's really bad and my voice sounds even worse than it normally does but essentially there's been sort of rumours swirling around since the release of the S9 and pointing towards a new MFT camera so I think to most people's minds that was going to be the introduction of a new GX or GM line style camera so we're talking essentially an alternative to the new S9 for the Micro Four Thirds line. And, you know, I think there is a market out there for people that want that kind of smaller camera for Micro Four Thirds, because that is sort of what it's all about, you know, small lenses, light cameras. But as of late, you know, the, the GH and G line have had more of the kind of um, focus. And we've had a couple of cameras for those two lines in the last couple of years. So, you know, we had the GH6 and we had the G9 Mark II. So, you know, I, I thought it would be heading more towards those kind of smaller compact cameras. But then recently the rumours are heading back to a GH7 again, which earlier I'd kind of dismissed because, like I say, the GH6 is only a couple of years old. But since then, obviously, we've had the introduction of face detect autofocus. We've got um, other things like the, the real-time LUT integration, which the GH6 wasn't quite there with that so you know a lot has changed since then in the improved dr boost implementation so again i was a little bit unsure about it but then actually on the um official panasonic website here so this is the um japanese version of the site but if you translate it into english you can see on here it's got the <laughs> i mean it's slightly wrong because obviously it's a mirrorless camera not a digital slr but um, it, it is the GC, uh, sorry, the DC um, GH6, and it says in there that the um, production for it has been discontinued. So, I mean, that really does sort of nod towards there being a replacement for it because the G9 Mark II was never a, re a replacement for the GH6. You know, it's a completely different body. It's got lots more kind of video centric features like that flip up screen, time code tally lamps all that kind of stuff you know that really video shooters prefer over just more of a standard hybrid body um but yeah it's an interesting one i mean uh the, the kind of specs they've put in here so they're saying that it's going to be potentially announced june 5th so i mean that sort of almost sits in line with um it, you know that's going to sit in line with cine gear really so it's it could be something that's potentially announced there and you know they're, they're saying that it's going to have most of the same features as the lumix g9 mark ii which you'd hope it would have because the g9 got a lot of the gh line features so you know it, it got external raw um, yeah sorry external raw recording all the kind of um all intra codex ssd recording so you'd be hoping we'd be seeing things out of the g nine mark two over in the gh line so we'd want things like live view composite pre-burst all those kind of photography features that we kind of missed out on so that would be quite nice if if that made it into the gh line probably not everyone would use them but it makes it sit as more of a hybrid camera as well as a video focused camera so we've got other things in there um, it would still have the larger fan like the GH6 which is good I like that that it's going to have essentially unlimited recording again um, new 30-bit float recording 32-bit uh, float recording methods via a new XLR unit so they've currently got the XLR1 unit um, it, it, I, I don't know if this is going to be maybe like a new kind of smaller unit that's going to attach to this camera like how that works but um, there's some things I've seen they were saying it was internal 32-bit flow and then other things sort of seem to allude that it's an accessory that'll come with it or you could buy separately so I'm not really sure about that I mean Lumix Lab app support you'd hope that that's going to be the case because that's the latest Lumix app and you know it's integrated with the G9 Mark II so it makes sense that it'd be integrated with the new GH6 Mark II or GH7 whatever they call it so, you know, a lot of these things do kind of make sense. And then you've got in the, the second source here, it's already being tested by influencers. I mean, if it's going to be released, um, you know, they're saying a, a July release. So if that's the case, then th this would be true because it, it'd be, you know, on pre-sale pretty soon. And then, you know, being released in July, that it, it would have to be, 
you know ready for pre-sale in the next week or so um and then we've got uh yeah again you know that it might be june the 5th so june the 5th that's essentially wednesday you know from this date so that that is pretty soon um and there's been no real <clears throat> there's been no real build up to it or anything so you know over the next day or so we should see a preview on youtube for um you know a new lumix camera if this is true again you know it's, it's all speculation speculation from genuine generally quite a um accurate kind of review sources but at the same time it is just speculation so it's not worth getting your hopes up too much about all of this kind of stuff but it's interesting that it's here i mean they're saying that um <laughs> the tester's feedback is a near perfect camera for the mft system i mean let's be honest all of those people again they've just been through this with you know everyone saying camera reviews have to change i mean that's probably going to be the strap line for most of the reviews even if it's got all the bugs and all the quirks of the old cameras because i think a lot of these people that test this probably have never touched a gh6 they probably don't use the mft system you know it's uh, it's one of those things where you just can't believe all of these things it's uh yeah i mean they're saying here it shoots internal raw if it does shoot internal raw that would be a really good thing you know that would differentiate it from not only the g line uh you know the g9 mark ii it would differentiate it from the whole full frame line as well you know you've got things in there that do differentiate mft from the full frame line you've got things like 4k 120 which currently the full frame line can't do eventually i'm sure they will be able to do that but you know you've got little features like that that sort of split them apart slightly better ibis things like that but um yeah this is a really interesting one you know because for me i mean it depends where you sit sort of in the in the lineup of cameras you know as, as somebody that owns the gh6 for me if if they're just going to push in the introduction of pdaf pre-burst proxy you know all those kind of things that have just come recently then it's not an interesting camera for me really i mean yeah sure pdf pdaf is great but it's not a you know that's not really an upgrade that's basically just a g9 mark ii in a slightly different body so uh, for me it, it would need updates like you know i i want to see things like um like actual things addressed in the camera that make it a bit hard to work with you know so maybe a secondary usb port um fixing the mismatched card slots because that's just a nightmare improving the battery life because it's absolutely awful and you know no one really talks about it and says how bad it is but it, it's awful on the gh6 it's not a good battery so you know having a way that they could improve that and potentially even bring, bringing back the battery grip you know because that does help the, the battery life but you know you're obviously expecting a lot when it's really high spec video and the battery is draining quick but you know it's it's not great you basically if you want to shoot any long form video you need to rig the camera out and it's a camera that's built for long form video with a fan and you know all these features so having a better battery is you know it's got to be part of it otherwise it's not really a fantastic upgrade you know for me that would kind of be dead in the water you know, like af's great but having a camera that actually performed better for a longer amount of time you know the battery is an important part of it for me so it's um yeah the, and again what sort of sits alongside that is the backup recording so not being able to have backup recording is for me that's a bit of a nightmare you know i want to be able to either shoot to an ssd and back up to a cf express card or just have two cf express cards and be able to back everything up whilst i'm shooting you, you know going back to sd cards a lot of people wanted that which is a bizarre choice you know you either want those good high video frame rates and specs or you know you just you don't really i mean i i want to be able to shoot all of that internally and back it up like ssds are great but they're a bit clunky and you still can't back anything up on them so for me that's not really a fantastic kind of solution so you know there, there are additional things that i'm sure everybody wants to see you know they want to see things like um internal nds but you know that that might not be physically possible on the camera but you know it might be that they introduce something like computational 
um, ND filters or you know if they can get internal raw into this it would be you know would make it a very interesting offering so um, yeah it's sort of um, it, it's interesting to kind of see that this is the the latest rumors you know that it's um there potentially is a gh7 in the works but um yeah i'd I'd sort of be interested to know what what people you know want to see out of it and what you know where they kind of sit in there because as i say you know it's got to be a fairly big step up i feel like to go from the, the gh6 to the gh7 but i can understand you know the move but it's um yeah <laughs> if any of this stuff's kind of true i mean especially the internal raw it's um yeah it's going to be a very interesting interesting camera so um yeah so let me know what you think um but yeah just just drop um drop what you think in the comments really